Brothers. Before providing you with the latest update on DYDX, as we continue to push forward in democratizing access to financial opportunities, I'd like to talk about Astropolis. In literature, as per a gene, Jola's book, Astropolis is an idealized future civilization. Asteromo, or Astropolis, is also an orbiting archaeology proposed by architect Paolo Soler. Additionally, Astropolis was also referred as the first space resort by Playboy magazine in 1968. Finally, Astropolis is a famous techno music festival in France. But for me, Astropolis is a notebook where I drop ideas, concepts, missions related to the future of blockchain systems, connected societies, and DeFi. Let me share with you these futuristic views of Astropolis, what it could bring us, and how it could look like. Communities. We are in 2033. In Astropolis, the decoupling between traditional and network economies has kept accelerating. The rise of multi-citizenship. In 2033, Astropolis is a bed of communities and cities coordinated via blockchain with the support of our AI allies. Those network states host Astropolisians, collectives, tribes, and robots. In Astropolis era, the GDP metric had to be revised. The classic formula GDP equal population size plus productivity had to be upgraded. GDP is now population, humans by robots, by AI registered entities plus productivity. In Astropolis, technology is the answer to an aging population. The tech is the answer to formerly known government budgets, now called DAO treasuries. Robots and AI agents also pay taxes, which comes handy to ambitious network states and protocols. In 2033, intermediaries and value extractors struggled and eventually vanished. Years after years, shareholder capitalism was replaced by stakeholder capitalism, a more meaningful and inclusive form of collective capitalism. Astropolis illustrates the paradigm shift in how the world is organizing itself. It provides all toolings and platforms for autonomous, yet interconnected economies. Through waves, airs of new users now form Astropolis. Microeconomies, robots, algorithms don't compete on technology anymore, but they compete on ethos and tangible use cases. Infrastructure. We are in 2033. Over the past year, blockchain kept unloading heavy tasks and responsibilities from institutions via ZK and smart contract business logics. Astropolisians have evolved with machines, AI allies, and blockchain systems are upscaling society. The necessary and complementary link between AI and blockchain is now obvious. Data centers are now hybrid, allowing on-demand and scalable computation that is cognizant of privacy concern, enabling data residency that works in harmony with our self-hosted AI agents. AI identities don't have bank accounts, but a KYM and multi-sig wallets, allowing them to expand their masters and generate optimal revenues from unused computing resources. Talking of bank accounts, in 2033, large legacy institutions have now cleaned up their innovation theaters and turned off their permission blockchain for good. CBDCs sit on public networks, concluding a long and painful transformation of legacy architectures and back-end systems. Banks and centralized crypto exchanges have expanded their offer and reinvented themselves, moving away from rent-seeking business models to DeFi facilitations and aggregators. FinTech in the front, DeFi at the back, is now the norm. CBDCs compete with stablecoins of all sorts, as well as crypto-native monies. Ignited by the Bank of International Settlements, relentless research and experimentation, all financial institutions are now integrating DeFi as their sole back-end and making the best of global liquidity and global financial innovation. In 2033, decentralization is pragmatic and ethical. 
embedded in public infrastructure, a full spectrum of decentralization levels are contextualized to support hundreds of new cases. All challenges like MEV, AML, have been solved. Duality or multiplicity of block productions led to a more agile, fair, and creative consensus system. Privacy pool. Privacy pool monitored by community-led autonomous agents ensures that values and ethics of the various economies are carefully implemented. In Astropolis, our identity is composed of legacy attributes, such, such as age and gender, but also expanded to real-life attestation, such as participation at events, career achievements, governance votes, and video game scores. Social networks don't own or store our intimate memories anymore. Facebook was forced by progressive governments, users, and network states to co-build a brand new social media public infrastructure. In an urban fashion, we log in with our data on the AI engine, and we log out with them too. Astropolis help us to be ourselves, rich of our cultural background, rich of our ethos. The technologies eventually became our technologies, crafted for our care. Assets, derivatives. CFI has been a fertile soil for modern finance. Led by the example of the DYDX chain ecosystem, the DeFi market of derivatives have gone through a transformational evolution. In Astropolis, DeFi brings perpetual to their next iterations, improving their distribution, widening their access, and accelerating their innovation velocity. There are now hundreds of thousands of crypto derivatives. Derivative indexes, led by AI-powered allocators, are the choice of many. Communities vote on risk management frameworks, aligned to their values and ethos. Platforms are monitored by AI agents, programmed accordingly. Market making and liquidity became more opinionated, sometimes ethical, other times political. Insurance companies got lean and leveraged weather or health index derivative contracts to edge and build fairer and embedded financial products. In Astropolis era, the missionless market supports new kind of digital assets, but also enable real-world assets to evolve, gaining new reach and fostering innovation. In Astropolis, the Dodd-Frank Wall Street Reform and Consumer Protection Act has wind down. Consumer protection, resolution authorities, systemic risk regulations and derivatives are now co-designed by 20 territorial countries, 51 network states, all sitting equally around the table agreeing on new rules, principles, and ethos. All are implemented on public networks via smart contracts exclusively. Technologies get, get our trust foundations to evolve and become ex, uh, increasingly stronger. The evolution of stablecoin. After absorbing the remains of government tokens called US dollar or euro back in the day, Astropolis has developed a new type of currencies. A spectrum of monies now support and contextualize subsets of Astropolis economies. Stablecoins are now, for the most part, based on government bonds, sucking the last bits of value out of legacy government systems to feed network states. Deflationary currencies coexist with flat coins based on inflation, while energy coins, water coins, are emerging, reflecting the challenges of our planet and human species. DYD exchange. In Astropolis era, the DYD chain went through multiple iterations. The base chain has lossified, solidified, while the application layer covers more assets and functionalities. Each user of DYDX now hosts its own certified DYDX interface on its own Airbit virtual machine. The world's largest asset manager utilizes the protocol, but also contributes to the code base and ecosystem. Thousands of developers have been mandated for code base improvement by DYDA key stakeholders and users. A new generation of protocol users has emerged, aligned with the code. They are maintaining public goods for their own benefit and everyone else, else's. The symbiosis between users and software has progressed. Access to research and precious data sets are granted to the protocol by new generation of asset managers, enabling a fair, accessible, efficient, and transparent marketplace. The women of DYDX, compromising hundreds of members, supported the launch of ethical yet performant new trading pairs and markets. 
The YDX curriculums are now taught all around the globe to ensure democratized access to financial opportunities and ever-expanding integration to the DYDX protocol in Astropolis digital economies. The list of tradable assets on DYDX is lively, welcoming innovative products, retiring, underperforming ones, thanks to AI recommendation and high-velocity governance. On its Sunday edition, the DYDX journal, published by the DYDX Foundation, goes, goes through those airline, headlines. Cover picture. The YDX platform has reached 25 trillion in annual volume. Community vote. From October 2034, new indexes will share their management fees to fund core missions such as the YDX talent development, protocol research, and AI enablement version 7. Hardware. Low latency upgrade, uh, low, low latency hardware upgrade for the YDX validators planned this summer. So the YDX journal goes on with its weekly performance section. AI agent economy, plus 4.2%. Plus Drinkable water index, plus 2%. Space industries, stable. Climate event, short-term contracts, minus 0.5%. DAO top 10 index, plus 6%. Air cleaning economy, minus 0.2%. The YDX DAO now coordinates treasury management, research, grants, operations, and branding. Intense debates are supported by strong protocol data infrastructure and AI-driven risk and compliance report. Our collective leadership settles. In the Astropolis era, the YDX counts close to thousands of employees across the ecosystem, making it a poster child of revenues per employees and AI agents' metrics. We are in 2033, the boardroom of sunsets. The protocolization of our economies, states, and communities fires all engines. Distributed governance went from an experiment trying to mimic past societal frameworks to data and ethos-driven collective leadership. I hope you enjoy this futuristic travel in a possible not-so-distant future. Let's have a quick look at the latest on the DYDX ecosystem. And then after, we will sing a song together. Thank you, everyone. A, a short update on the YDX after this kind of trip and, 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 and travel in the future. To understand the future, you want to understand the past also and the history. The YDX was founded on, uh, in 2017, built first on Ethereum layer one. We were one of the very early applications to move and explore the world of, uh, of rollups and, and layer two. Uh, with Starkware's uh, uh, StarkX. <clears throat> the new DYDX chain is built on Cosmos SDK, as many you know, and we've been customizing the chain really for the very specific uh, focus and use cases of DYDX. DYDX has been successful, and thanks to your support, we've reached $1 trillion of trading volume to date. So thank you, everyone. I think we can clap our hands. Congratulations, everyone. So we are very excited about the DYDX chain. Why are we moving to the DYDX chain? We want to keep progressing towards our decentralization roadmap, leveraging the best technologies available around us to make sure that we can improve and decentralize further matching engine, order book, and the sequencer when the time comes. The DAOs also will enable and empower uh, the new DYDX chain. Uh, higher uh, throughput capacity will be also delivered by the chain as well as a faster uh, finality of orders, as well as new trading products. The DYDX version 3 platform has been doing great. The average daily volume in 2023 was more than $900 million per day. Total volume, $258 million, and total fees, $58 million, with a total active number, active number of traders of 66,000. So we are very excited about these kind of foundations, and we just want to magnify all of this with the new DYDX chain. <clears throat> We'd like to spend some time to thank all the supporters of the DYDX chain. More than 58 validators participated in different versions of the testnet. The block time is currently at 1.63 seconds, and there was uh, 5 million plus transactions on the testnet. So we very much look forward to the, to the mainnet when the time comes. <clears throat> What's next? Next is the genesis and the bridging. So, Word in, the, word in the street is, is that many people are working towards uh, the DYDX genesis. There will be a bridging step as well to, 
essentially allow users, if they decide to, to bridge to the DYDX chain, their DYDX tokens, as well as starting to stake, if they decide again, uh, and secure the DYDX network. User experience is paramount at DYDX. You can see here, you're welcome. You're welcome with MetaMask, you're welcome with Kepler, you're welcome with a, a number of different wallets. Uh, that's, that's really the, one of the demonstration of uh, the relentless efforts from the teams involved to really deliver the best experience uh, in the industry. We also announced a few uh, days ago a one-click onboarding uh, experience together with Axelar and Squid. When you want to explore the EYD exchange, there will be multiple tools available to you. One of them is the observatory, which you can scan the QR code here and get uh, a snapshot of the activity on the testnet, but also soon uh, get uh, uh, the pulse of the DYDX chain. MinScan Explorer will be also a great traveling buddy for you, uh, giving, all, giving you all the data you, you might want to, uh, to, to get from the DYDX chain as well. Skip Protocol has been a strong supporter of DYDX. Thank you for, to the DYDX grants, DAO, for bringing on this, uh, these experts. You can also look here at, uh, via this, this, uh, this QR code on, on how the, the order book is, is lively and how it works uh, together and in hands with validators. The source code uh, of DYDX has been totally open. So you can also scan this, uh, this QR code and get access to multiple components and modules from the platform for you to look at and possibly integrate if this is, uh, if this is your, uh, your objective. DYDX chain will be run by the DYDX token. So DYDX is becoming an L1 token of the DYDX chain. It's going to enable you to stake, to secure the chain, and to participate in governance. That's a massive change from the Ethereum version of the, uh, uh, of the DYDX token. All fees collected by the protocol will be distributed to validators and stakers. If you decide to stake, you will be essentially part of this amazing journey of DYDX and, and we, uh, we, we're very excited to have you. The new version of DYDX also later on will enable permissionless market. So each user following risk management frameworks and liquidity frameworks will be able to list in a permissionless manner new markets. It's exciting for new crypto, crypto assets. It's also very exciting to know that there is a lot of people thinking of real world assets, thinking of new products, and some, some part of the the talk earlier was mentioning insurance, was mentioning health index, weather indexes. So there is really many different fields we can explore together with this new functionality coming up on the YDX, the permissionless market. If you want to get a snapshot, the foundation, uh, the YDX foundation is publishing every six months uh, its annual or semi-annual report, scan here also uh, the, 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 the QR code to get the latest data, statistics, and the latest news about the report. If you want to join the DYDX journey, you're welcome. There is many people working with us, and we are very grateful for that. You can join to enable the DAO. There is two DAOs within the DYDX ecosystem per today, the Grants DAO and the Operation DAO. You can also help with mapping tools on Cosmos around DYDX, helping with the DAO strategies, constitutions, building bridge, uh, contributing to governance, and connecting wallets, of course. How to participate? Start your journey at the DYDX Foundation Twitter account. This is where we gather all the latest news of the ecosystem. The DYDX.forum website is also a great way to get regular updates on the, of the conversations happening within our ecosystem. Thank you very much.